Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. I am Sage 25 and I am Spartan Wolf 19. Ah uh, yeah, and we're bringing you some Halo Reach gameplay today. Why? Because we're going to be talking about Halo 4. Halo That's what's 4. up. Uh, so there was a recent article in Game Informer magazine that uh, gave some information out about Halo 4, so we're going to be talking about some of the multiplayer aspects. Um, and this video that we got going on, Danny, you want to tell them what's going on in this video while we talk? Sure. I, first of all, we are a long-time gamer friends. You don't even tell anyone who I am. Anyway, um, oh. yes, we would like to talk about the video. Uh, so the video, um, originally, when we were going to do this commentary, we were going to get some uh, Halo Reach footage for you guys of us just playing some double team, getting some good teamwork and stuff like that. And Correct. that didn't happen. We had a couple of games, which you're going to see, of people just quitting out within, what, the first, like, three minutes? Yeah, for the most part. You know, yeah. when they're down 4 nothing and the game's totally out of reach. Game's <laughs> over. Pun yep, intended. Game's over. No way you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <Did you get> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. So, we thought that w this is kind of an appropriate uh, video, a couple of videos to be watching in the background while we talk about matchmaking, while we talk about new features and things that they can improve on. And, uh, yeah. Why don't we start with, with some of the article info? Um, yeah, so basically they just list some of the things that are going to be uh, new to Halo 4 uh, that we haven't seen in other Halos. So maybe you'll recognize, uh, maybe you've seen some of these traits before in other games. Uh, I guess we'll just pair a couple up. So a couple oh, are, uh, you'll now be able to create your own class. And also uh, Sprint is now going to be a standard ability at all times. Uh, these are kind of weird. Danny, what do you think? Um, create a class. Cool. Sounds like fun things. Um, you know, creates more variety and stuff like that. However, Halo is kind of all about an even playing field, starting with the same weapon, going out yep. and collecting the weapons that are on the field. And um, if you're creating a class, that also probably means there's a lot of other stuff you're putting on your Spartan, uh, which again is, it's fine. It, it's, it could be optional, uh, but it just seems to be like it might be a little much. Um, with that said, with the sprint, um, that is just, you know, every game now is adapting this new sprint thing. And I think one of the things that separated Halo and people took pride in is that it, you couldn't sprint in Halo. And it just yeah. made your choices more important. Exactly. Um, I, I guess we can just move on. I, I mean, we'll just get through these and then we can talk about them. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So two more things. Um, are you just did sprint? Okay. So how about... Uh, instant respawn and drop in games. Okay, this is crazy. So, uh, one thing that is so important in Halo, um, if you're, you know, if you're paying attention and you're team oriented and stuff, is timing respawns and knowing, you know, when to pull flags, when to do objectives, when the other team is going to spawn so you can spawn traps, spawn kill, stuff like that. And, um, it's just crazy to not have the ability. I, I mean, we don't know what that's going to look like yet. If it's going to be, uh, if it's going to affect the game a lot or not. But it just seems really odd to take something like that out of Halo. Um, and again, this is going to go with, uh, with the drop-in games, joining games in progress, because I guess they're trying to make the game more fast-paced and keep people playing, just like Call of Duty, which is fine. I love Call of Duty. We have a love-hate relationship, but. Um, <laughs> But really? I don't want to play Call of Duty and then, you know, wait for Halo 4 to come out and then play Call of Duty with BRs, you know? It, that's not right. what I want to do. I think, I think that we're not, we're not here to kind of just complain about all the choices they're making. I, I guess what, I, what we're trying to have make people realize is that Halo and Call of Duty, and I think everyone could agree on this, are the two lead um, head shooters in the market, you know? They are the best oh, sellers, yeah. the most competitive. Um, they've... You know, made it huge into MLG, and when you have a game like Halo that just has so much unique stuff going for it, why are we just turning it into Call of Duty? Um, just seems weird. You know, there's other games out there, like uh, just to name a couple: Transformers, Crisis, <laughs> Homefront, the new uh, arcade Batman game that came out. I forgot the name of it. Um, those adapted a lot of features from Call of Duty, which I can accept because that's a very successful game. These are new and upcoming games that are trying to, you know, build some repertoire. Uh, I don't think I could spell that if I tried. And, uh, <laughs> okay. But this is Halo. Like, I, I don't know. It just seems weird to just, you know, take Call of Duty and just stick it into Halo. It's going to explode and it's going to hurt a lot of people. I got sixth place in my uh, middle school spelling bee. That's just a side note. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, pharmaceutical is what I lost on. Anyway. Spell um, egregious. <laughs> dude, I, yeah. Look it up. Um, anyway. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, like I said, we don't want to bash the game totally because it's not out yet. We don't know everything about it. We just know, you know, what we read in this article. The and, uh, yep. Yeah, and we wanted to just kind of elaborate and give our opinions on that. But, you know, I do love Halo because of the gameplay. It's got a totally different feel than, than other games. And 343 might be able to do a good job, you know, continuing that in Halo 4. Uh, we'll just have to see. But um, I, I just don't understand because, actually, if you guys don't know, 343 Studios is supposed to be... Uh, they were put together by Microsoft to basically tend the, the Halo series and to... The Bungie reign. Yeah, exactly. So Bungie broke off and they're doing stuff with Activision. And 343 is made up of avid Halo fans like myself and Danny, who actually have avid. experience. Uh, oh avid. <laughs> and, uh, program. But, I hate you. But they're, <laughs> they actually know what they're doing, I guess, and they can put a video game together. And so it amazes me that they don't... 9-2. to two. I'm sorry to interrupt. 9-2. to two, Nine They to weren't two. that bad, and they quit. Yeah, they were pretty bad, they're though. Um, yeah, they were, but, but still, they weren't out of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, how many times have we been down nine to two and come back and win? I don't know. Probably right. maybe like three, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I? <laughs> you just you just interrupted know. me. I'm what was I talking about? The delay of this mic. Uh, I don't know. While you think <laughs> about it, uh, what what we're trying to get at is that you know there are definitely ways to go about making um, Halo competitive again, and I think. I want to know what you guys think about this, because during Halo 2, um, if you can erase all the horrible memories of cheating from your brain and just focus on, you know, when you went into matchmaking with your friends and played games and you had a rank, did you enjoy it whether you were a competitive gamer or not? This is more geared towards non-competitive yeah. gamers, because what we're trying to get at is that it doesn't really make sense to take away features like ranks and, and clan battles and stuff like that, because the non-competitive gamers still had fun and they didn't mind, where this, right. doing it on the, the other way around, it just affects so much more. Right, and at this point, I you know I don't complain when if Black Ops Two comes out and this the ranking system is the exact same as all the other Call of Duties where you just play and play and play and yeah. prestige. That's fine. That's yeah. That's Call of Duty. Why are they altering Halo to take on that same mentality when Halo is so huge and and just so original? You know. Yep. I think they could really bring it back with a home run um, if they. You know, just look back on other games. Halo Reach was not a bad game. It just messed up on the online features. Um, yeah, exactly. Just like the rankings and stuff. And, you know, the only ranking it had was the arena, which is interesting, like with the seasons and stuff. But, I mean, that shouldn't be the only thing. Like, that's it's just right. not enough. Uh, I mean, in reality, there's, there's tons of different types of gamers. And Halo, if you ask my opinion, Halo 2 and Halo 3 catered to Killing all those spree. different... All those different... Uh, types of players you know the the ones that just want to sit in a zombies room or a griff ball room actually halo 2 didn't have griff ball but anyway pope chase uh, pope chase exactly uh and uh yeah. you know just mess around with their friends that's cool there's other ones who just play you know social playlists other ones who want to get their 50s get their freaking emblems how cool were those the symbols right and uh do you remember those are you with me yeah, no, I remember them. Yeah. I didn't know. You, I thought you were talking to the public. Yeah, okay. and, yeah. <laughs> and I think a lot of the misconception. <laughs> I think a misconception, of, and you guys are gonna be like, "Oh, well, there was a lot of cheating because of the ranks." I think that's a misconception because there were still ranks in Halo Three, and they did a really, really good job on cutting down with the cheating. It's just game yeah. coding, I think, for Halo Two. It wasn't so much like that there was ranks. There's plenty of games with ranks that people don't cheat in, you know. Yeah, they definitely improved on that. Anyway, the point I was getting at is that kudos. There's so many uh you know they have like what 15 20 playlists out in reach and none of them cater to competitive players you know that which is what i would like to see i'm not saying i'm gonna go mlg pro i'm just saying i want to you know have a challenge every once in a while and get rewarded when i actually win games you know and rewards yeah reward points yes those are good um, <laughs> But yeah, we're coming to the end of this video, it looks like, and uh, as you can see, I guess this one was kind of, we were winning a lot, but still, I don't know, we don't, we never quit out of games, it just doesn't make, it doesn't make me feel good. Right. Anyway, uh, we'll elaborate, maybe talk more about this, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and we will see you in the near future with another video. Have a great day, y'all. Peace. Leave some comments. See you guys.
Double kill.